In this video, we're going to use simple formulae expressed in words for one or two step operations. Now, this might seem like a complicated thing, but we use this in everyday life. We do it. So I'll start with one step and then move to the two step operations. Here is an example. To write time in the afternoon in the 24 hour format at 12. So we've got time PM means in the afternoon and you're writing it in a 12 hour format. So let's say it's 2 PM. If you add 12, that makes it 14. So this has given us the time, the same time in the 24 hour format. And you could change this. So let's say if it's 5 p.m. at 12, it's going to give you 17.00, which is the same time in the 24 hour format. So this is one example. And as well as going this way, you should be able to reverse the process. So what I'm going to be doing now is let's say you're given the time in 24 hour format. Let's say it is 21.00. Now we need to find what was, what was the time in the 12 hour format in the afternoon. So We've got 21 reversing. Initially we added 12, now we're going to take away 12 because we know that addition and subtraction are opposites of each other. So now going this way, I'll do minus 12. So 21 minus 12 gives me 9. So there we go. It's nine o'clock. So it works both ways. Now nine at 12 gives me 21. 21 take away 12 gives me nine. So you might be given time in the afternoon in a 12 hour format expressed with PM, or you might be given time in the 24 hour format. So either way, if it's here, you're gonna go and find that hour, that time missing there. And if you are given the time in the 24 hour format, you reverse the process to find the time in the 12 hour format in the afternoon. Other examples include converting measurements from centimeters to meters or centimeters to millimeters. So it might be in words that to convert from centimeters two millimeters, you need to multiply by 10. So if you're given five centimeters, 10, 10 times 10, that makes 50 millimeters. Or maybe you're given centimeters to convert into meters and in this case, you need to divide by 100. So let's say you have 550 centimeters. Divide by 100, we go one, two steps. So that is 5.5 meters. Now the two step operations. I've got an example here. Jane uses a taxi to get home from college. The taxi company charges a 55 pence per mile and a 90 pence booking fee. So we've got the number of miles to be input. So let's say if it's two miles, then you multiply by 55, which is the pence per mile, and add 90, which is again pence, so we can have it missing in here. And we've included pence in the final answer, so cost of the trip in pence. So the question might ask, Jane, Jane's trip is three miles long, 
the distance between the college and home is three miles. So work out the cost of the trip. So if this is three miles, then we've got three times 55. Three times five is 15. So five down and one carried over. Five times three is 15 and that one, so it's 16. So 165 pence, that's so far. Now we've got to add 90 to that. So we've got 165 at the 90. Five, 15, 255. So that brings it here now, 255 pence. So that is the cost if Jane travels three miles. It could be four miles, five. So whatever the number of miles, if you follow these steps in order, you should get the same, the answer. You should get the answer. So another question you might be asked actually is the cost of the trip is 255 pence. So we don't know how many miles and we've got to work it out but how would we do it if you remember from the previous video if the answer is here in the output then we've got to reverse the process so i'll go 255 take away 90 and then divide by 55 and that gives me the number of miles. So let's have a look. So 255 take away 90. What does that give me? One hundred and sixty five. So one hundred and sixty five is here. Now what do I do? I divide by 55 so the opposite of multiplication is division and we don't change the number the opposite of addition is subtraction and we don't change the number so plus 90 minus 90 times 55 divided by 55 so 165 divided by 55 how many 55s would fit into 165 so i know for definite one does if i add another one that is going to be 110 but i can fit another 55 so 55 that's 565 so it's exactly three so that gives them gives me the answer of three miles so it was really important to follow the steps because otherwise you'd get a different answer. If you added first 90 and then multiplied the answer by 55, it'd give you a completely different answer, a larger number. So we don't want that. We just want to follow the steps. Another example is that of currency conversion. So if you go to a shop and they charge a fee for converting the money, then they've got their currency rate as well applied. So that's what you need to do. Maybe deduct from your money the fixed amount they need to pay first and then do the conversion. So there are different examples in everyday life. We use this maybe on a daily basis and it's something that we need to improve on by doing um, more and more examples.